Prince Harry to visit London solo, no senior members of the royal family to attend UK Invictus Games event. According to a report, it is not anticipated that any senior members of the royal family will be present to rejoice alongside Prince Harry in the celebration of the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games in the United Kingdom. Following his cancer diagnosis in February, the Duke of Sussex is getting ready to make his first trip back to London on May 8. This will be the first time he has been back to the city since his visit to see King Charles. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. It will be the first time that Harry has travelled to his homeland since he found out about the cancer diagnosis that his sister-in-law Kate Middleton received a month ago. However, sadly for Harry, who is 39 years old, authorities at Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace have not verified any indication that a royal reunion is in the cards during his trip, as reported by The Telegraph. The father of two is scheduled to deliver a reading at St. Paul's Cathedral in London on May 8, which will be held to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the first Invictus Games, which were held in the capital city. During the event, the poem Invictus, written by William Ernest Henley, will be recited by the actor Damien Lewis, who is best known for his role in the film Band of Brothers. In 2014, Harry initiated the Invictus Games, which are multi-sport competitions modeled after the Paralympics, for service members and veterans who have been injured or wounded. It is planned that the celebratory service will take place two days after Prince Archie, the son of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, celebrates his fifth birthday. It will be one year after Charles was crowned, and that day will honor the occasion. Additionally, it is speculated that Harry will be embarking on yet another solitary adventure on this trip. It had been claimed that Harry was contemplating cancelling the trip entirely due to fears regarding his own safety. Additionally, it is speculated that Harry will be embarking on yet another solitary adventure on this trip. It had been claimed that Harry was contemplating cancelling the trip entirely due to fears regarding his own safety. After resigning from their position as working royals and relocating to the United States in the year 2020, Prince Harry and the 42-year-old former cast member of Suits were forced to give up their sponsored police protection in February. When traveling over the pond, Harry and Markle will now be required to pay for their own security out of their own pockets. This is a consequence of the announcement. Despite this, the couple is getting ready to travel to Nigeria, which will take place just a few days after Harry's journey to London. A West African country's chief of defense staff, General Christopher Gwabin Musa, who is the country's highest-ranking military officer, sent an invitation to the two individuals on the occasion of their departure from royal life in the year 2020 and their subsequent immigration to the United States. According to reports from the local media, the couple would get the opportunity to interact with members of the armed forces and their families, as well as take part in traditional cultural activities. The fact that Prince Harry presented a coveted Soldier of the Year award from his Montecito estate while wearing four medals has resulted in criticism due to the fact that he was wearing them. On Thursday, the Duke of Sussex, who had served in the United Kingdom's armed services for a decade, made an appearance through Zoom in order to present the medal to Sergeant First Class Elizabeth Marks, who is a combat medic from the United States. Haters, on the other hand, were diverted by Harry's awards, which they asserted were an attempt to create an illusion for the American market. This diverted attention away from the service woman who was being honored. The prince pinned four medals to his chest, a medal for the Afghanistan campaign, a medal for the Golden Jubilee, a medal for the Diamond Jubilee, and a medal for the Platinum Jubilee. The first one was given to Harry as a token of appreciation for his service in the military in Afghanistan, while the other three were given to him, by Queen Elizabeth II. One person snarled in a post on X, three Jubilee medals. Plus a bunker service medal, referring to him. Oh my God! that is just pitiful, yelled another person. 
he is in search of someone who can provide him with advice on optics. A mournful plea for look at me, the participation medals are a disappointing gesture. The prince, on the other hand, received support from a number of individuals who argued that the Afghanistan battle medal he received was justly earned. Before going to Afghanistan for a second time in 2012, Harry served in Afghanistan for a total of two tours, the first of which took place between 2007 and 2008. It was asserted by one of the defenders that he is entitled to wear his medals. He was awarded medals, according to a second person. During this time, a number of astute commentators pointed out that Prince Harry was not wearing the coronation medal that had been presented to him by his father, King Charles, not too long ago. In an interview with The Sun, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams described the statement as a snob on the part of the prince. He claimed, the Sussexes do nothing by chance, and this clearly emphasizes or is designed to emphasize his estrangement from the royal family. The Sussexes are married to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle.